Hello, welcome back to Croc Legend of the Fuckos. Just kidding. Hey, it's me, Sharexo. And yeah. All right. Yeah. Sorry. I just thought I'd do a little bit of a funny gag there, you know, be a different person and then make you go, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, I'm kooky. I'm a kooky fuck. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh god, I remember this level. I do not remember this level being easy in the slightest. There's... I don't know. Like, I think I had issues with, like, getting on top. Yeah, I had to do that. So stupid. But, uh, I think you can collect colorful gems down... Down there. Speedrun this. I think I got that gobble right. Yeah, I got that gobble still. So I don't need to do that. Oh, yes. Uh, topic, topic, topic. I definitely have issues with coming up with topics. I've watched, you know, I've watched, uh, I started watching, so at my school, a bunch of kids started a podcast during lunchtime, and uh, I'm not going to tell you the podcast, mostly because I don't want to dox my location, but uh, it's it's interesting. I've watched a little bit of it, I haven't watched a lot of it, and I remember uh, this, this actually fits in with a story. So last time I was talking about how I wrote an uh, essay or, or a story for my well, I talked about writing a story that actually happened to me on the bus, bus experience with a kid that sucks, and it kind of fits in with that. So there was this kid talking about their podcast and their uh, essay, and they essentially talked about how <laughs> they like named a kid on their podcast and they were going ham on him. Like uh, it, he was like talking about his friend. He was like. Yeah, he was just fucking being really, uh, going on, in on this kid. He was saying how much he sucked and shit. And apparently, the mother or somebody discovers this. And I'm not shitting you, he, she, she called him. And I, I remember specifically in this essay, he talked about fucking how he threatened to assault him. He's like, uh, <laughs> what? You know, he's like confused. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck you up. You don't talk, you know, blah, blah, blah. And he has this whole thing apparently recorded. So, he, I was surprised about this. And he, he, uh, he apparently, I think he talked about it on one of his podcast things. Again, I'm not mentioning it because I don't want to get doxxed. But, uh, he talked about it. And it's just like, what? So, this actually, this actually happened. Because he had it on a Snapchat. He had it recorded on a Snapchat. He was apparently playing uh, GTA at the time and he has the whole recording and he wrote an essay about it. he didn't really go into like a ton of depth apparently because I remember he was like yeah no I have it recorded but uh, that's not even like the whole thing I was like dude just like you could literally easily at least make an entertaining story out of this because I don't have experience I don't have crazy experiences like that you know I, I don't think I have no, I, I don't generally deal with that type of stuff. Um, but yeah, he just wrote about that. And I essentially had read that story out to him because we were fixing mistakes in our essays and shit. Continuity or just something that doesn't make sense, you know? And uh, yeah, there's a couple things. Anyways, he then tells me my story, which I know it already. It's the bus experience. And, uh, I can't remember if I ever came up with an alias for the kid. I can't remember the alias if I did. I'll just say it's... Uh... Well, I'll call... Damn, I don't know. I'm trying to think. I'll, you know what? Luke. Luke's have always been... I, I hate people named Luke. Most of the time. If you're, if you're cool Luke, though, you're not... You're not on my, uh, enemies list. Anyways. Call him Luke. Luke is essentially a terror on the bus. And uh, I remember it was winter. 
and the previous day I had shoveled a bunch of snow so my back was very it was like tense you know I was working hard on that sh snow shovel and shit and it was like five inches of snow well no not five inches it was like a foot of snow it sucked it was my whole driveway and I had to shovel it all and uh I remember the next day after I shoveled all that my back was tense I got on the bus and I didn't no, no, I didn't. Yeah, okay, so school ended. I got on the bus. And I was traveling back home. And there was some kid, not Luke, just some other kid throwing snowballs on the bus. Are you fuck? And the kid threw a snowball at my back once. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? God fucking damn, that hurt. And I was kind of trying to ignore it, you know? I was like, I want to do something, but I don't want to get involved at the same time. And then it happened again. And this time, I turned around and I yelled, Quit throwing fucking snowballs! And the bus driver obviously hears this. She's like, Hey guys, don't don't be throwing snowballs back there. Uh, and the kid doesn't stop, but he didn't hit me again. Because I would have kicked his ass if he did. Uh, because my patience after that second snowball, like my back was throbbing and I was fucking pissed. Come to discover, uh, apparently the kid in front of me, Luke, this is where the terror, terrorist guy, kid, comes in. He had apparently stolen, uh, Kenneth's, what, AirPods? Kenneth is a guy, is a kid that I, uh, sit next to on the bus. He's a nice kid. You know, doesn't generally get into... He doesn't get into trouble. He's not a bad kid. And he had his AirPods stolen. He's a freshie. And I, due to my frustration, I immediately say, Hey, give him his fucking earbuds back. Because he, he was trying to ask nicely, but I knew that wouldn't work. Because the kid was just being fucking stupid. And I remember the statement, uh... What? The kid said... But how do I know they're his AirPods or whatever? And it's like, dude, they're not fucking yours. Like, are you stupid? Are you trying to be stupid here? Are you dumb? Like, I know they're not your fucking earbuds. And this this argument keeps going on. I yell at him and then his uh, sister, Luke's sister comes up. She tries to mediate the situation. Uh, she tells, Luke to give the air buds back and he sticks them in his backpack which p pisses me off even more it really pisses me off and I remember saying he stuck his e earbuds in his shitty camouflage backpack blue camouflage backpack I remember saying that because I wanted to be dramatic in my story <laughs> and <laughs> I was like oh fuck kidding me this fucking kid did it again uh and so, well, I'm trying to think. I didn't mean to end it. Oh, well. Uh, what happens? All right. So we keep arguing. I can't remember. I tell him. I keep telling him. And I guess this time the bus driver's like, you know, there's. I gotta go back there and deal with this shit. So she stops the bus and comes up to cat comes up to check on what's going on uh i think i think i tell her that i can't actually i don't know who told her i can't remember if i told her it's kind of fuzzy but all i know is the bus driver got told what's going on she asked luke if they were his they he said no and uh well no he didn't say no he said that he'd found them in front of his house which was a lie because i remember uh when he first when Kenneth noticed, it was because he was talking about how he found a pair of earbuds on the bus, you know? So he's lying, essentially, to keep them. Uh, I think the bus driver realized this was a lie and told him to give them back because they're not his and it would... <sighs> they're not his, you know? She didn't, she didn't make it seem like they were Kenneth's either, but I feel like she knew, kind of, I hope. She knew. What do I do here? 
Oh, right. All the other times that the fucking water kills me, it doesn't kill me here. If you believe it, it doesn't kill me for some reason. Yeah. Oops, game. Of course, this part's fucking difficult. Uh, what was it? Oh, yeah. So she at tells him to give him back. He he ends up doing it. He takes him out of his shitty ass blue camouflage backpack. Uh, and I get off the bus shortly after because it was my stop. And I remember telling Kevin to check to make sure they're his because I I genuinely didn't know whether or not they were his, but I I didn't expect him to lie about it. You know that was not something he would do. He wouldn't just lie. But I told him to check if they were his, and he, I assume he did, I don't know, probably, maybe didn't. And yeah, that was a pain in my ass, and Kev, fucking, not, not kinda, Luke, fucking Luke's been causing me problems this entire time, so recently as of late, Kenneth has switched buses, which, happy for him, but uh, I'm stuck with fucking Luke, who's an asshole. And I have to deal with him still, because I know he's going to be in school still, which sucks. And uh, every fucking time I walk by him, either, you know, he says fast or some some of that, some of the sort, you know, like makes comments and shit as I pass by him. He's just a complete jackass. And he, recently he's been like slapping my belly as I walk by him. I was like, what the fuck? I, you know... <sighs> It's so hard for me not to absolutely knock the shit out of him, but at the same time, I don't want to get in trouble for doing something, you know, like that. Because I know I'd, I'd get in trouble, and it fucking sucks. But yeah, I just remember, you know, he does, he has done, been doing that. Bus driver has been reporting it, but I feel like it's not going anywhere. You know, you think, uh, I don't know, the kid would be kicked off the bus to teach him a lesson. Hell, you know... Because once you kick them off the bus, their parents are going to be like, what the fuck have you been doing on the bus that got you kicked off? You know, obviously, I think the parents do know. They just don't give a shit, I think. Because, I mean, you got to realize at some point, you know, when are you going to actually do something to um, solve the situation? I cannot tell. How fucking far to jump on that part. That fucking sucks. This sucks ass. But yeah. Just dealing with that kid on the bus. I can't remember... Oh yeah, I remember he fucking... He got in a fight in front of me. This is when Kenneth was sitting with me. Kenneth was sitting next to me. And I was like... There was a fight going on in front of me. There was some other kid fighting Luke. <laughs> and I was so tempted to not fucking help. But Kenneth didn't... You know, he was like, oh, you gotta help him. I was like, yeah, all right. I held the kid that was beating the shit out. Not beating the shit, but like, you know, kind of tackling him. Uh, I held him back from Kenneth and he, you know, Kenneth appreciated. N no, I held the kid back from Luke and Luke kind of was like, oh, thank you. He, you know, I didn't really give a shit. And I was like, fuck you, kid. I hope you did. Hope he kick you kicks your ass. When I'm not there. <laughs> but, uh, fucking... He, Luke kicked that kid in the face several times. And the bus, again, the bus driver had to come and deal with it. I was like, it's just, so many issues have been caused by the fucking kid. I'm just surprised he's not kicked off the bus by now. I'm not doing that. Fuck this level. I'm just surprised he's not been kicked off the bus because he's like a stupid jackass who causes issues for everybody. Not just, like fucking one kid he, he's always an asshole and he's been th there's this other kid on the bus he's a juvenile delinquent he's gotten into trouble several times he's had the police called on him he's gotten expelled from school recently actually i see him walking on the sidewalk sometimes but uh he talks about kevin he's like not kevin what Ke uh luke luke why the fuck did i say kevin Luke, he talked about, he talks about Luke and shit, and he's like, that kid's a fucking jackass. He, he doesn't like the kid. 
and uh, he's told the Luke's sister several times, you better handle that fucking situation because I'm not dealing with that kid fucking uh, torturing the kid. The, so the kid that beat him up, he, he's uh, kind of an asshole to him on the bus too, Luke, uh, Luke is. And he's, he made a comment like, that kid better fucking quit it or I'm going to do something about it. You know. And uh, he got expelled. I don't know if he did any. He did beat some other kid up, though, for, like, punching his sister or something. So, yeah, I don't know whatever happened to that kid, but, you know. He's not at school anymore. He left. And I don't know if I'll see him ever again. All right, yeah. What else? Uh, I'm trying to think. Right. So yeah. Uh, I think that's about it, really, for the. Whole There's so much shit that I could talk about on a bus, but it's it's gonna be like moments of me trying to remember exactly what happened, and that'll be a pain in the ass, and I don't want to do that because it's not fun or entertaining for anybody. So. Where do I stick this key? Oh. Whoa, that was close. All right. I'm guessing I was supposed to go there first or... Holy fuck, that's close. I don't like the platforming because you can't tell, like, the only way you can tell where you're going to fall is a shadow. And that's, that does not help, generally. Oh, God. Ah, shit. Sorry, Croco, Faco, Waco. Oh, yeah, tomorrow, I'm not going to be able to record for, like, three days because I'm going to be busy in, like, the morning, and that's usually when I record. So, uh, you'll, this will be the last video for, like, until, what, Thursday? Do I have enough? No, I don't. I'm missing one of them. So, don't expect me to upload uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Which sucks, but, you know, it, I generally had to do it, so... Don't, don't yell at me. It's not my fault. It, no, it's not my fault. I'm trying to think if it's my fault. It's not, I don't think. <laughs> uh, well, Baron Dante. Bah. Take, take this. There we go. It's my newest invention. Bullshit. Uh, that's not what I intended. He, he didn't even, like, power it up. He just stuck a jetpack on it. <laughs> these enemies are really creative, Croc. Oh, fuck, I hate these penguins, actually. No joke. These penguins suck. Uh, I don't think any of these are filled with go- I don't think gobbles- Are there gobbles on the stage? Can't remember. I don't think so. I think these are just gems. Uh, the da ha. Yeah. So, what? How many levels have I played? I oh God, I heard there's forty. There's forty levels. I don't know if there's that many. I don't know if they count bonus levels or anything. But if there's that many levels, and the ice part is fucking difficult, and the sound part is difficult. I I hope there's only four worlds, honestly. But I don't genuinely know because this game hasn't told me anything. Like, it's hard to tell uh, how far. I got, like, to what? World 3, 3 last time. And, like, each video, each video, like, was 20 minutes. And it was just on one level in World 3. And, it, yeah, it fucking sucks. But, you know. Huh. Shit, thank God for fucking grip. I didn't know that. I didn't know he had a fucking solid snake grab. Jeez. God, that's fucking terrifying. 
I can't remember how this one works. Oh. Right, don't, I remember this being bullshit, because, like, you don't know how fucking close you're getting to the guy. I don't know. Okay. He's following me. Alright, I yeah, tried to. Kind of gets up quick, too. Does he, like, what does he do if he, if, like... Is he just trying to fall on me? Does he attack? I don't actually know. Alright, well, I'm almost done with this fight. Each boss only has, what, three hits? Hey, I got 40 gems. Nice. I think you hit once. Nice. Nice -a job. Yes. Let's go! Alright. Yeah, Croc is like, what the fuck? Alright, let's go. <laughs> There's no logic. It just defeats somebody that easily. He's like, okay, well, yeah, that's it. Anyways, that is it. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell notifi notification icon thingy to know when I post a new video. Uh, until then, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.